Fire! Welcome! This is Records Roundup number 32, and it's not just records I'm showing you. A couple of CDs also to have a look at today, all added to my collection over the past few days or so. Now, I'm actually recording this on Record Store Day, which is, uh, just looking at the calendar, the 22nd of April. There's a couple of Record Store Day items that I want to get, and then there's another one that I'm on the fence about. I might pick it up if it's not too expensive and it's available when everything goes online in a couple of days on Monday evening. Yeah, my Record Store Day pickups, assuming that I get them, and I don't see why I would struggle, really. There's plenty of websites for me to try. Hopefully, in the next Records Roundup, which will probably be about a week away, I'll show you what I've got for RSD. With that being said, on to what I've got over the past week or so. I'll start with the mail opening, actually, because this came today. It's a CD, obviously, and it's a new release from Vicky Bennett, a.k.a. People Like Us. So Vicky at the moment, I say at the moment, um, the main campaign stage ended a month or two back, but um, I think you can still play it if you want, but um, she started an Indiegogo campaign to raise funds for her new album and tour. This isn't her new album, but this is one of the pledge perks on Indiegogo that all contributes to her fundraising for her upcoming album and tour. Is this the real life? I think she's calling it. I'll leave a link for Vicky's Indiegogo campaign in the description text box, actually, because that'll explain it better than I can. Uh, this is kind of like a bonus, sort of, while you're waiting kind of thing. I was a pledger. Um, I think this was my fourth pledge, so I've still got three things to wait for and I need to speak to Vicky about one of them because that's the one that was A, the most expensive for me and B, it should be ready pretty soon and I can't wait to show you that on the channel but I'm going to shut up about that now because I'm worried I'm going to give too many spoilers and that is something absolutely unique and amazing so uh, let's get this open and then I can explain more so this will be sent directly from Vicky herself yeah, it is signed as I thought it was and it's basically a new People Like Us compilation CD. She decided to put this out late into the Indiegogo campaign. It's also available on the People Like Us band camp page now as well. This, there you can see her signature there, Vicky People Like Us. It is actually a two CD set and it's called Charity, or Charity, yeah, Charity Selected Works of People Like Us. And it's basically covering about the last 30 years or so of Vicky's career under the People Like Us name. I've talked about her many times on the channel before. A cut-up artist, plunder phonics, sort of like unusual mashups using archive and found footage. It's more art than music, but I love it. I'm such a big fan. And to be able to, not just for this, but for the other pledges that I made before this was even announced, I was so happy to be able to support her directly, knowing that I would be a little part in her being able to make a new album and I think the new album Is This The Real Life is due out next year. Two CDs, I uh, won't go through everything that's on it and I'll have got a lot of this on record or CD already but it's just nice to get another People Like Us album, a compilation. This is Vicky's first official compilation that's come out since I think she said 2002. So over 20 years since her last compilation. I think that's Recyclopedia Britannica. There's one of the CDs, I won't show you the other one, because they'll both look very similar. Just nice to get a kind of greatest hits, if you can call it that, you can't really, from people like us, while we wait for the new album, and while I wait for another particularly special perk that I paid for, but oh, I really want to talk about it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to wait, I'm going to dedicate a video just for that, because that is going to be something absolutely incredible and I can feel myself blurting out what it is now, so I'm going to shut up. I'm happy to have got Charity, Selected Works of People Like Us.
sticking with CDs now, and this is a Discogs purchase, and it was one that I alluded to in Records Roundup 31 that I was waiting for. I'd purchased their third studio album, which was only out on CD, Disappear Here, and showed you that last time. And I was waiting for their fourth album, which came out, I think, about a year later. And here it is, Dad's Weird Dream by Silver Sun. So once again, only ever came out on CD, apart from any digital release it may have had, but I don't really pay attention. I just wanted to get my Silver Sun collection filled in, really. Saying that, it's going to be difficult because the next album that follows on from this um, is really difficult to find. I think it only ever came out in Japan. And then there's another one after that which hasn't even got a CD release. So not the easiest band in the world to collect, but um, this was easily available and it wasn't much money either. This was about £15. Typical Silver Sun artwork there. That's about all I can say about it, really. Silver Sun, I talked about them last time, so I'm not going to really go on, but they are a band worth checking out. And sadly, they're no longer with us because of the lead singer passing away. But um, for a brief period in the 90s, they were very exciting in British music, but they just never really made it quite big enough to sustain an audience. But that is their fourth album, Dad's Weird Dream. Serving you last Tuesday in the shop. They sent me in the shop. Move on to a 7 inch single now, another Discogs pick up, in fact I think the next 3 things are all from Discogs Marketplace. This was a little bit expensive but it was as cheap as I could find it, that is always my justification. I've decided that what with me doubling up on Rammstein albums and also collecting a lot of Rammstein 7 and 12 inch singles and then doing the same for Emigrate, I've got all their albums on both CD and vinyl. I say all apart from the first one, the self-titled debut, but I've talked about that before and why that's expensive and difficult to find. But I thought I would start doing the same for Lindemann and all of the Ramstein singer Till Lindemann's projects. And the first one here that I can show you is actually one of the more rarer pieces because this wasn't on an album as far as I can tell. It's actually credited to Till Lindemann and violinist David Garrett. And this is, and please excuse my pronunciation here, Ale Tage ist kein Sonntag. So it's a 7 inch single, it's on red vinyl. I'm not going to get this open actually because I've actually got some red vinyl that's already open. But I'm going to show you next. Two tracks, 7 inch. On side A, the classical version. So it's Till Lindemann on vocals. David Garrett, who I'd never heard of, but is fairly well known in Germany. He's a sort of classical crossover violinist. There might be some information about him on screen there. And side B is Alitaka ist kein Sonntag, the, I think that says, it's really difficult to read, Bazazian remix. So some sort of electronic or dance remix. Yeah, just for the Rammstein collection, really. I am waiting for other Lindemann products to arrive. I've got all their albums, I say all, only two studio albums and one live one on CD. There again, similar with Emigrate, one of those will be a little bit tricky to get for a cheap price. We'll see how we get on, but you will be seeing some more Lindemann slash Till Lindemann on the channel pretty soon. That is Ale Tage ist kein Sonntag from Till Lindemann and David Garrett. Alle Tage ist kein Sonntag, alle Tage gibt's kein Wein, aber du sollst alle Tage recht lieb zu mir sein. Und wenn ich einst tot bin, sollst du denken an
we remain with Discogs and we remain with Red Vinyl and if you cast your mind back even further to Records Roundup 30, that was the Suede special and I said that there was an album from Suede that I was waiting for, I had to chase it up because the seller just wasn't responding. Um, fortunately he did respond to me, he got them sent out. So I can show them you both today. The first one is this one that was originally a Record Store Day release in 2020. See you in the next life. So another compilation of sorts, this from Suede. It was originally a fan club release back in 2004, I think it'll say on screen. It's basically got demos on it, bit of live stuff, and maybe one or two remixes as well, but it's essentially a demos album first and foremost. Just to be as part of the Suede collection, I thought this was a decent pickup and this was £15 and the next album I'll show you was £15 as well. Looks like it's personally signed by Brett Anderson but it won't be. Let's have a look at the disc. Oh very nice. So obviously this has already been opened and played but in great condition. Not exactly essential to a suede collection such as mine which is still quite fledgling. I'm still not in any rush to get any of the newer stuff but for me this is still original period suede as in 90s to early 2000s so this qualified when I saw that I could get the red vinyl edition the record store day 2020 edition for £15 I had to jump on it really it is also out on black vinyl I believe so that is see you in the next life mostly demos with bits of other things as well from Suede Sur les arts de la jeunesse Au coin c'est dans nos villes du vin Des anges jamais rien Oh, tournez-moi, tournez-moi La puissance Et je les ferai saigner and from the same seller in the same transaction there was another album a two disc double album legendary album really and one that i would inevitably be adding to my floyd collection sooner or later but this one was 15 pound he said he'd only played it twice i think in his listing but he said it was in near mint condition and to be fair it is it is of course the wall the one disappointment here is that he wasn't able to conserve the hype sticker i do like those pink floyd remaster hype stickers this is definitely the remastered 2016 edition by the way you can tell just from the, the newness of it and not to mention all of the catalog numbers barcodes etc it's just the sticker when all said and done and to get this for 15 pound Whereas brand new, this particular edition is usually getting on for double that price at all the other sites. I thought, you know what, I can forego not having the hype sticker there. And um, I've put it in one of my own gatefold protectors. Oh, Richard, look, it's a gatefold protector. Wow, what an invention. <laughs> I mean, it's the wall. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this album as much as some people enjoy it. I seem to like Floyd albums that not a lot of other people like. I listened to Atom Heart Mother the other day. The band themselves hated that. I thought it was great. It's right up there already in my all-time favourite Floyd albums, Atom Heart Mother. Somehow, for me, it just really clicks all the way through. Bit of a butcher's at this disc here. I'm assuming this will be disc one. Of course, The Wall also inspired a film that starred Bob Geldof. You might see a little clip with some music, assuming I don't have to remove it due to the copyright Gestapo in a moment. But there we are. I will have heard this album before. My dad definitely had this album on, I think, cassette and then CD he upgraded to after a while. So I've heard pretty much everything on here, but not listened to it sort of out of choice and by myself ever. So it's just another step in my Pink Floyd journey and there's not that many more Pink Floyd studio albums that I need to get now. I think from my reckoning, I think there's another 
three. Am I forgetting one there? Anyway, I'm enjoying collecting them, doing it fairly slowly. Probably not as slowly as I originally intended, but slow for me anyway. That's Floyd, that's the wall. And finally, direct from the band's website themselves, this is a new release, exciting new release for me as I'm a big fan and a major collector of all this band's work. This is the latest album from Lieback, Sketches of the Red Districts. This is also out on red vinyl, I won't get it out, we've seen a red disc today. This was from their web store over in Slovenia out on God Records, not sure why, I think it's depending on the kind of material, but some Lieback releases do come out elsewhere other than Mute Records. Mute may get a credit on here somewhere, but this is a God Records release, which is a Slovenian label and probably one associated with Lieback. I think I might have a live album from Lieback in my collection that was out on God Records, but I can't remember offhand. So what this is, I think, is kind of an arty, very political, very lie-backy look back at sort of 1980s Slovenia and Yugoslavia. This is all new material, but it's kind of done in a sort of old-school lie-back style, I think is what I gathered from this. I don't really understand a lot when it comes to lie-back. I just enjoy the music and enjoy that sort of mythology and that kind of Cold War era aesthetic that they've always had really. If you're a Lieback fan, there's a lot coming out lately. There's um, their second album, Nova Acropola, that's been reissued for Record Store Day. I was tempted to get that today or in a couple of days time when stuff goes online. But I've already got the album, the second disc is a live disc that I think I may have a lot of that already elsewhere. And um, of course, on Mute Records, their extended EP, Love Is Still Alive, will be out, I think, at the time of me recording, in just under a week's time. So I'll hopefully have a copy of that to show you in the next Records Roundup. But that is Sketches of the Red District from Lieback. records roundup thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this look at two cds one a new release and then a new release album from lieback and a couple of really good value pickups from suede and pink floyd of course not forgetting the and that was from greece by the way the seven inch till lindemann and david garrett single hence why it was a bit expensive but not overly so i think 30 odd pound really with a bit of tax involved. Anyway, I want to say special thanks, as always, to my wonderful subscribers and my generous patrons. I want to ask you to please look at my Patreon page, Facebook group page, and of course, I've left a link for People Like Us' Indiegogo campaign at the top of the description as well. Also there, you will find referrals for HMV and Urban Jungle. 
I'm going to go now. Plenty to listen to. Might start with the CDs, might start with the 7 inch single, might start with the LPs. It doesn't matter. I'm going to listen to it all. It doesn't matter what order it's in. So I'm going to shut up now and stop going on about it. And I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next music collecting video and the next records roundup. Cheers, everyone. See ya!